All right, so this is a suggestion via Patreon. The name of the video is uh, Why White People Like Country Music. Uh, this is coming from the comedian Shane Gillis. Uh, guys, country music is actually good. I didn't know until I actually started listening to a copious amounts of it because you guys wanted me to you know, listen to it. Right? Um, I love Dolly Parton. Absolutely. She's easily one of my favorite artists uh, that I've ever heard, period, going forward, guys. But all right, let's check it out. Let's see what this takes us, guys. I don't know, I just moved to New York this year, and uh, yeah, it's all right. New York's all right. It's nice. I, I like it more than I thought I would, but uh, I just, just found out I was fat. Oh, yeah, yeah, that happens in New York. Just th I'm 31. I just this year found out that right. I was a fat guy. Right. I'm from a white trash enough town that this was killing it. Okay. People back home see me, they're like, what's your secret? I'm like, oh, I'm just hanging out, man. <laughs> Supposedly hang out. <laughs> and then I don't know I moved uh, I moved to Philly first I lived in Philly for like two years yeah gay birds and then uh, but it was funny because I moved like from a white trash town to Philly like right during the presidential election <laughs> <laughs> you, you pussies uh, no but it was funny because like that was a big jump I went from like an all white trash town to then to the city where now all my new friends were like real woke and that was like, because if, like, if this was my hometown, someone could just walk in here in full camouflage and sit down and you'd be like, that's a good outfit. <laughs> what are you, are you trying to get pussy in here tonight, dude? Come on, man. You're going full camo at Clusterfest, all right? Like everybody I grew up with listens to country music. And I don't, but I get it. Like I understand why white people like it. Okay. You know, like you can relate to it. You can understand all the lyrics. You don't need to Google what a nene is. Right, okay. Listen, okay, I'll give you that. Uh, keep this in mind, I, I'm absolutely a city boy, but I spent the uh, overwhelming majority of, of uh, my time in the United States of America in the country, right, in Georgia, let's say. Um, and what's funny is, is that a lot of people, a lot of songs that talk about gigantic lifted trucks and big tires and mud, I do all these things. So yeah, yeah, it makes sense to me, bro, all right? That's it. It's not, I don't know if you know this, every country song's just about exactly what a white guy's doing at that moment. Okay. It's like, I turn the radio up. It's like, yeah. yeah. That's good. That's music. That's what I like. <laughs> I get it. You can relate to it. I ride around, I listen to rap. That's all I listen to. I can't relate to one song. I just ride around by myself, bob my head, just like, I beat the pussy up. It's like, oh, huh. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I don't know if I beat it up. Like... I'm like, oh, shadow box the pussy. I've never, I've never knocked it out. Everyone's knocking out. I've never knocked it out. Not, I'm more like Floyd Mayweather with the pussy. Very technical. Right. Very defensive. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I listen to. I just ride around and listen to people brag about how good they are at sex. I don't think I've ever made a girl make a sound with my dick. <laughs> Except like when I lay on them at first and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> that's it, just, oh Jesus, mister. <laughs> yeah, good. Hey, listen, I love the fact that he doesn't take himself too seriously, guys. So that's where I'm from. Okay, but where and is I that? I remember the though? city, and here, let me lose you again real quick. Uh, all right. All right, let's it was go. right during the presidential election, and uh, it was funny because all my friends went from like white trash to like I said woke, and they were all like, they're all like, did you guys all vote Democrat? Did anybody here vote? <laughs> do you guys do you guys remember how like confident you guys were <laughs> going into that last one? Uh, you remember that? A little borderline arrogant going into that. All right. Don't let it cost you again. No, I relax. Relax. I did not vote for him. Yeah. No, I, I actually did not vote for him, which that was tough. Look at me. I mean, his whole campaign was at me. Right. I was watching TV. He was like, are you a fat idiot? I was like, yeah, dude. Whoa. I... Yeah, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing, dude? We're building walls? Hell yeah. I like walls. Walls? 
I took skull out of my mouth to come up here. And I didn't vote for Donald Trump. Makes me like the Nelson Mandela of central Pennsylvania. Is that where he's from? Central Pennsylvania? I don't know. Like Altoona? You guys are all right. I want you guys to know, though, I do have black friends. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, it's nice having black friends when the rest of your friends are just goofy white guys. It's nice. You get some outside perspective, some right. advice. You just got to be careful right. of the advice you take from your black friends when it comes okay. to, like, sex. <laughs> when you look like Uncle Buck, it doesn't... You know what? He does kind of resemble John Candy slightly. Translate. Like, this is the advice my friend gave me when I went on a date with this chick. He was like, hey, yo, Shane, you don't want to go too deep in the pussy. She's always going to want the dick. I mean, those are rules. So you're, you're worried about depth? Yeah. Like, depth is a I didn't know they had depth. That's crazy. I'm just happy to be there. You're worried about, like, depth is an issue? He's like, you don't want to give her the whole dick. I'm like, that's all I have. <laughs> I've never been, like, halfway in and been like, ooh, ooh. You got to earn the rest of this dick. It's insane. Depth? That's crazy. I'm worried about, like, the noises I'm making. Like, I just, I just sound like, like a shitty ghost the whole time. Just like, <laughs> Uh, I'm almost done. <laughs> Depth. Or my face? You ever worry about your face when you're... Don't do it. Don't... No? Don't think about how dumb you look. You'll end up looking like a psycho trying to look handsome. The whole Noted. <laughs> it's not good. It's worse for me. I definitely thoroughly appreciate, I guess, the, the device, the device, advice, guys. Absolutely. If I let it go, like if I just let my face go during sex, like I, I look like Brandon Dassey from Making a Murderer, the whole just. The girl's down there, she's like, did you do it? I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, <sighs> guys. Who, what type of comedy is this, right? Like, tell me the genre of comedy this is so we can just consistently watch more of it. Like, I like when people just don't care, right? Um, well, they just say whatever comes to their mind consistently uh, without fear of cancel. It sounds like he is absolutely uh, consistently, probably, in the runnings to be the next person canceled based off of every sentence that he basically says. And I respect it. There are not many people left that are absolutely, completely willing to speak the way he speaks. Because I like it. Please send more. Next one. All right. Listen, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, the next one of these I should be checking out. And I will get into that as soon as I possibly can. All right. And listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day. Thoroughly. Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd along with Mr. L. Boyd Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out.